The cause, a dangerous discovery, a drum filled with a toxic chemical washing ashore on the intercoastal. That means Mike Mars alive for us in Hollywood to bring us this story. Mike? Guys, what a headache, but the good news here is that it is finally over. A1A back open, that barrel, that drum of chemicals, it's out of here. The bad stuff gone. Blame this 55-gallon drum that washed up on Hollywood Beach. Inside, some unknown chemical. The immediate area evacuated, traffic shut down. The solution began to bubble, nearly boiling into a fire. So hazmat officials neutralized the chemical in a solution. That means they made it safe to move. Hazmat units escorted it to a waste management facility in Davie late Monday. Guys in protective suits came back out to the scene to clean up the mess. The road is back open. Developing right now, MacArthur High School in Hollywood is on lockdown after more than a dozen students and a teacher are infected with some sort of rash. Any minute, they're going to be transporting some kids to the hospital. Now, what we understand is uh, this all happened just a couple of hours ago at the school. Uh, kids began itching. They had redness on their skin, and that's when they called 911. So at this point, the rest of the students, we understand uh, many of the students have been taken into the gym in school. They're not allowing any other student to leave the school right now, not allowing any parents in. A number of parents are showing up because they got concerned when they saw the fire trucks and the police activity. Uh, not much information is coming out of the school. Uh, some parents are frustrated. Uh, we just talked to one parent. This is an unconfirmed report that perhaps it was some type of bug or muck. you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Orange County Bureau Chief Eileen Prayer is live outside of Santa Ana Hospital, but a woman is recovering from some serious burns. Eileen? And Ellen, authorities say that the woman suffered second and third degree burns to her right leg. She also burned her hand as she was trying to get the rocks out of her pocket. Her husband also suffered first and second degree burns to his hand as he was trying to help his wife. Right now, new at 11 for you, new information on that horrific attack by the MacArthur Causeway. Police were forced to open fire on a naked man who refused to stop chewing the face off of another man. We look into what could have caused this attack, and we have new details on just how much of the victim's face was literally bitten off. CBS 4's Tiffany Helberg spoke to a police officer who was at the crime scene. She joins us live from Miami. And Tiffany, the officer believes the man clearly, clearly was on some very, very powerful drugs. That's right, Cynthia. The paternal order of police president tells me this crop of LSD is a major threat to police officers as well as the rest of us. He says it turns normal people into monsters that possess this superhuman strength and no ability to feel pain. He believes that's what was behind the incident that unfolded here Saturday in broad daylight just off the MacArthur Causeway exit right next to the Miami Herald. And it was the Herald's surveillance video that caught much of it on tape. Now, we want to warn you, much of the details you're about to hear are disturbing and gruesome. It totally horrified me. Uh, this was probably my 30 years as a police officer. Uh, the nastiest, most horrific uh, incident I've ever seen. An incident partially caught on camera by Miami Herald surveillance. Fraternal Order of Police President Armando Aguilar says that cop had no choice but to shoot when he found a naked man chewing away at another man's face. Had had his face completely eaten uh, from the top of his forehead to uh, almost his jaw. Uh, it, it wasn't just that he was being bit, it's that the person was actually swallowing pieces of his face. His cannibalistic attacker unfazed by the officer's commands to stop. When the police approached him, he turned around and growled and kept attacking the, uh, the victim on the floor. That's when he says the officer shot him. The initial shots uh, had no effect. He had to repeatedly shoot him about four times until the man collapsed. The naked attacker now dead on the sidewalk. There he is on the left. His now faceless victim lay on the ground next to him, likely writhing in pain as sources say he no longer had eyes or a nose. I can only imagine by talking to the officer 
uh, I see that he's totally traumatized. It, it was like something out of a horror movie. Aguilar says this is the worst out of about four similar cases in Dade County to happen recently. In other incidents, the people have admitted to taking a new strain of what they're calling bad LSD. Their body temperature reaches such a uh, high degree that they have to take all their clothes off because they're basically melting from the inside. He says that was a case just blocks away on Bayshore Drive. That was in March when a bloody naked man who had been hit by a cab growled at police and showed superhuman strength when they tried to help him. There was more than 10 or 15 officers on the scene and even after they tasered the man two or three times, he was still able to take a baton away from one of our officers and uh, severely damage her arm. Scary stuff. Now, I'm told that man from the March incident did survive. As for the man related to this incident off the MacArthur Causeway who was attacked in the face, we know he is currently hospitalized in critical condition. Live in downtown Miami, Tiffany Helberg, CBS 4 News Tonight. Unbelievable to hear it all. Thanks for that, Tiffany.